Now, obviously, in my business, I have interviewed tens of thousands of people, far more than I had ever imagined. And, you know, not saying I look forward to doing a whole another 10,000, but one of the things that truly amazes me when people come in to interview, and one of the things that's going to help you have a leg up on the competition that you must understand, is that when people sit down for an interview, they feel like the person that's interviewing them is all interested in how great they feel they are. I'm hardworking, I'm dedicated, I'm driven, I'm this, I'm that. That all sounds good, but imagine how many times that employer or those employers have heard something like that. Every single aspect of your life, from the day you were born, you've been in sales and you might not have ever realized it. When a baby cries, it's trying to be picked up, have his diaper changed or fed, that's the sales call and somebody's going to answer it. When a kid meets another kid on the kindergarten and says, Hey, would you like some candy? That's that kid selling himself to them as a friend. Whether you were courting your, your, your wife or your husband or your partner and going after that person, you were selling yourself to them as the way they're somebody that, that should share your life with you or that they should allow to share their life with them. At your previous places of employment, you had to sell yourself into that place of employment and every day you were there. You were selling your services, selling yourself, because if you stopped selling yourself, you were going to be terminated and let go. Even when you say good morning, you're selling an emotion. I feel good and I hope you do too. And when we're upset, we're selling that person. I'm pissed off and I want you to understand why. Every aspect of your life is a sale. Yet, when we sit down in the interview, many times people forget that aspect and they stop selling. They start doing an ego trip. While the employer is sitting over there saying, my goodness, when is this person going to share with me what I get out of the deal? I appreciate how highly you think of yourself but and what you did at your previous places, but how can you benefit me? You know, what will you do for me? Period. So when you're in an interview, as opposed to focusing on I, 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 me, 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 your conversation should be focused on you, Mr. Employer. So the first thing you want to do is learn about the company that you're going to meet with. Nothing impresses employers more than saying that you did due diligence about their company. I mean, if you meet with an executive or a top flight manager or somebody that's been there for a while, that's their baby. They love this place and they love what they do and they take pride in it. And so by you expressing an interest in that already gives them the warm and fuzzies in your direction. Number two, make sure that you think about how your skills and how your talent can be of service and value to that company. Think about ways that things that you've done in your previous experience can tra translate and transition into benefit to their bottom line for this company. When you sit down to someone and say, well, listen, hey, here's what you get with me. My ability to communicate, I feel, will add value to your sales team because I'll be able to train them and help them to understand the psychology of selling, which will increase customer retention increase gross profit margin and increase sales which will ultimately add value to your bottom line oh my god you're talking to them about about value and about increase in profits they'll go crazy they'll try to offer it to you on the spot but you have to think along those lines remember i said i shared it earlier what got you to this point won't get you to the next level so you got to begin to think like a boss like a ceo not like an employee Employees think about what can the company give me, what type of vacation time do I get, and all this other crap that doesn't matter. Who comes into a position looking for vacation? That's why so many people struggle. The vacations come when you've done or done your due diligence, earned you some money, and can truly enjoy it. Okay? Now, I don't know anybody that's out here getting real money, living real fulfilled lives that didn't have to put in the work in the beginning. Okay? So, but as a CEO and as a boss, you think for what can I do to improve my business? And guess what? You're the CEO of the best business you'll ever own. And that's you. And what you've accepted as an hourly wage or a yearly income up to this point has been how you valued your business. So you have to increase your value of your business and that in turn will increase your compensation from other employers because your value is greater, which means that your value to them can also be great. So think in terms of what can I bring to them? What can I do for you? Mr. or Mrs. Employer. Here's how I benefit you. You know, those are the things as opposed to I, 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 me, me, me. Because you sound like everybody else. And I'll share with you, there's nothing cool about being common. Nothing cool. Have you looked at the national average of household income?
man, it is so disheartening when we have so many talented men and women that could be living such bigger, broader, and more fulfilled lives. But now, you will do so by applying the things you're picking up uh, in these videos. So the first was identify, you know, what your real passion is. Next is what are your skill sets? Then you got the search. Now, you go in there and you sell yourself with sizzle. But it's all about how I can be of service to you as opposed to what you can do for me. Because remember, they can ask you to leave and please believe me. I've been in this situation. There are more than enough other men and women willing to come in and take the spot that could have been yours. Why? Because they took the time and did what it takes to make sure that they made a positive impact when they had that 10, 15, 20 minute window with that interviewer, with that employer. So make sure you do the same. And in the next video, we're going to bring it all home with how when you step into that position, how to make yourself shine like gold and really open yourself up for any opportunities of advancement that may be available. So stay tuned.